guys, I'm Sarah Todd. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup with only one hand. Not all of you know my story, but um, when I was eight years old, I came paralyzed from the neck down and now I've recovered a lot and I have some partial paralysis in my arms and hands that I'm dealing with now. So I am unable to move my left hand and I have a very weak right hand, um, but I'm able to move it well enough. It just makes doing everyday life activities more difficult. And doing makeup is something that I love and I didn't want to let my disability make it so I couldn't do makeup. So I improvised and I found some ways for me to do makeup on my own and I really enjoy doing makeup. It's something that makes me happy and it makes me feel beautiful and I want other people who only have the use of one hand or who only have one hand to be able to do their makeup just like I can. So if you guys want to see how I did this look today, um, please keep on watching. I always start with foundation when I do my makeup. And I love to have products that have a top that you pull off rather than something you squeeze or a pump since my right hand is so weak and actually have a great way of opening products um, that have a top. I hold the product with my legs and then I'm able to just pull the top off with my right hand uh, since my legs are holding it for me and then um, to screw the makeup up, I just it um, with my right hand and then I am good to go. I always use this Tarte foundation stick. I love this. I've been using it for about two years now and I have it in the shade light beige. Um, they call this the Tarte clay stick and it's really great because it's really accessible for me and it makes it so easy for me to do my foundation and it also looks nice at the same time. Since I have limited shoulder function, I really can't lift my arm up to reach all parts of my face. So I have a standing vanity, which is where I am right now, and I can put my right elbow on top of the vanity and that helps me reach my face. And then I have my mirror right by my vanity. That's how I always do my makeup and it makes it so much easier for me. So I just put my elbow up, then I am able to reach all parts of my face. And I always start by using the stick on my forehead. Um, so I do about four little lines and then I do the sides like where my temples are. And I'll always do one on each cheek and then one across my chin. And then I always make sure to get all parts of my nose as well. I always use a beauty blender because it's just easier for me. It doesn't require as much strength as using a brush or as much force. And it's just really easy to get that makeup in and make it look good. I always make sure I wet it first. So this is a dampened beauty blender and you wanna make sure you get it pretty wet. I always start with my forehead and dab my makeup in. It really doesn't take that much force for me, which makes it so easy. And yeah, and then I'm just able to easily get my makeup on and it takes minimal effort and it doesn't take very long either. Um, so I'm just going to be getting this makeup into my skin and making sure it looks nice and is blended out perfectly. And again, I have my arm um, on top of my vanity. So this is how I can reach all parts of my face and it makes it so easy. I got this standing vanity from PB Teen and I'm planning to take it to college with me so that I'm still able to do my makeup there as well. Okay, I'm done with my foundation. I will move on to my concealer. This is the Sephora brand concealer and it's actually really good and I have it in the shade Bright Future. For concealers, I always like to get the ones like this that I can unscrew and hold with my legs. Um, because that's the easiest for me rather than a pump since my hand is too weak to do the pump. And I always start by putting my concealer under my eyes because I have like a lot of purple veins right there that I want to cover up. And then I like to highlight my nose. So I always do one line up my nose and I like to get above my lip and then I'll look for any blemishes or pimples that I need to cover up. 
and luckily I don't have many right now. I just have a few little spots. So I'll cover those up and then I'll occasionally highlight right here. Then I blend it in with my beauty blender. I always blend in under my eyes last because that's where it's prone to crease. And I really love how brightening this under eye concealer is. Okay, I have foundation and concealer done. And so now of course I look really pale. So we're gonna fix that. I like to use bronzer and some blush. And I just got this new palette from Too Faced. It's so cute. It has a bronzer, a blush, and highlight, and I really like the shades. I usually stay away from palettes when it comes to makeup because they're hard for me to open, and I almost always have to have my mom open them. So usually when I do blush, I'll use one of Clinique's Chubby Stick blushes that I can just open using my legs, kind of like my foundation and concealer, and I'll use a highlighting stick. But I just got this palette and surprisingly I'm able to open it, which makes me so happy. It's easy to open because it's magnetic. So I'm able to get the grip that I need on it while sitting. Um, and that's how I'm able to open the palette. This is what the palette looks like. There's the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight, and it's so pretty. I use one brush for bronzer and blush which I know you're supposed to use too, but I don't really need another one since I have this one. So um, I use this brush and I always do bronzer first and I just dip it in the palette and then I put my elbow on my counter to reach my face and I kind of do a three shape. So I'll do my forehead, temples, and cheeks with the bronzer. So I'll go in a few times just to make myself not look so pale. Now I'm gonna do the other side of my face. Doing things on the left side of my face is always harder for me since I do have to use my right hand and I have to have my elbow on the counter. So doing anything on the left side of my face, like any face makeup or just eyeshadow, mascara especially, it's always harder because I can't see it as well because my hand kind of locks my face when I do it, as you can see. So it's a little more difficult but I can still do it. <laughs> I always struggle with getting my makeup to look even on both sides too because of that, which is very frustrating. All right, I'm bronzed. So now I'm gonna do blush with the same brush. I just kind of tap it in the palette and then just lightly run it over my cheeks. Okay, and then I always just run my brush over the tip of my nose to put any of the excess blush that's on my brush on my nose because that looks cute. The next step in my makeup routine is to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. I always use this primer from Urban Decay because again the packaging works for me. It's similar to my concealer. I can just untwist it while holding it with my legs and pull the top off. So once it's open, it looks like this, kind of like my concealer. And I just go in on my eyelids and put a little bit where I need it. And then I will rub it in with my finger. And I just lightly tap so I'm not like poking my eye. Obviously, the next step in the routine is eyeshadow. Today I'm going to be using this new palette I got from Too Faced, which is also part of the holiday collection and it's adorable. I also really love this palette because it is the only one that I own that I can open by myself. I'm really glad that I can open this one because it's full of beautiful shades and I've actually only used this one once so I'm really excited to use it again. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. What I usually do when I do eyeshadow is I take kind of a bigger brush start with this one from Clinique um, and I just find a shade that matches my eyelids and then I put that on top of my whole eyelid just as a base and I'm gonna use a shade called cream filling in here I'm just gonna dab that over the whole lid this is where trying to reach the other side of my face becomes the most difficult because eyeshadow is one of the hardest parts of makeup 
um, but it's also one of the most fun parts, so I really enjoy doing it. But this is when reaching the left side of my face gets really tough. I really do struggle with trying to get my eyeshadow even on both sides, since, as you can tell, when I do this side, I'm unable to really see what I'm doing completely, um, which makes things difficult, but it all works out well enough. <laughs> so once I do the base shade, I like to do a shade in my crease, and I usually go for like a light brown or an orangey shade in my crease. And I'm going to use this shade What A Batch um, because it's a darker brown um, than the one I put on my whole lid, but it's not too terribly dark. And I just do this in the crease. So now I get to pick my lid shade. I think I'm going to use this shade called Sled No One Ever. It's kind of a purpley shade. And I'm gonna go back in with my bigger brush since I'm putting this on the lid. Now I'm going to blend these together. I will typically do a brow bone highlight, but as you guys have probably noticed by now, I really need to get my brows waxed. So I'm not gonna do brow highlight today. I think this look looks really nice for what I'm going for today. Okay, next part for my eye makeup is of course mascara. I will sometimes do eyeliner, but eyeliner is very difficult for me because since my hand is so weak, it's really hard for me to keep my hand steady while I'm doing it. And I really don't enjoy doing eyeliner because I'm always scared it's just gonna mess up my eyeshadow that I already have on. So I very rarely do eyeliner. I thought you guys would rather see how I do my eyeshadow since it's more fun. Um, but I'm just gonna let you know I can do eyeliner. But mascara is equally as hard, honestly. It's my least favorite part of my makeup routine. I hate putting mascara on, but I feel like it's honestly like one of the most necessary parts of makeup. Like you can't really wear eyeshadow and not wear mascara. So I always do mascara, even though I hate doing it because it's that necessary. Um, but I do curl my lashes first. I use a lash curler from Clinique and I put my index and middle finger in the back loop and then my thumb in the front one I don't really know what most people do, but those are the fingers that are strongest for me. So that is how I like to hold the curler. And then I put my elbow on my counter again to reach my eyes and also to help steady myself. And I put this against my lid and gently squeeze my lashes to curl them. Okay, the lashes are curled. So now I'm going to do mascara. My favorite one is Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have to be really careful when I'm doing my mascara so I don't poke myself in the eye because my right hand shakes a lot since it's so weak and that can make it very hard for me to do my makeup because I can't really keep my hands steady. So I always go very slowly and I try to be really careful. So I always start with this right eye since it's the easiest. And then I'll move on to the other eye. And then I move on to the outer lashes of each eye. And then I always check and make sure I like how they look. And then sometimes I'll go back and add another coat, but I am always scared I'm gonna ruin what I did. So I'm very careful when I do that. So I'm just gonna go back and add another coat. Very careful not to make them look clumpy. And the mascara is done. Last but not least is, of course, lipstick. I'm always very careful with applying lipstick because, again, my hand is very weak and will move a lot and shake, and I don't want lipstick all over my face, so I go very slowly. And there is the lipstick. I actually really love how this turned out. This is a very good fall, winter kind of look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something. And if you're someone who only has the use of one hand like me, or who only has one hand, I really hope that this helped you. Learn some ways that you can be independent and do your makeup on your own. And I really just hope that you enjoyed. 
And yeah, please come back and watch more of my videos. I'm planning to upload more tutorials on how to do things with one hand and just how I do things throughout my daily life um, that I've taught myself how to do differently since I became disabled um, almost 10 years ago. So I hope you guys will come back and learn more ways to be independent. And yeah, if you want to keep up with me, you can go follow me and um, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.